This is Danny and Carl again today, and today we've got a black box from Basin. Um, I've just purchased a refurbished Basin from the Basin outlet from eBay. Um, this one is a very expensive top of the line Basin, and I got it for very cheap. Uh, it is refurbished from Basin, so I'm expecting some great things. As you can see, it doesn't come in its original box. It comes in a blank black Dad. box. There's and what have we got in here then? A magnetic bad boy. Now, has it been? Does it look like it's been used? Not. No, that looks all right to me. It looks pretty good. Does the turbo head? Yeah, that would have come in a little bag normally. So that looks like it's been used. Ah, ah that. What you got here? But you can all guess which one it is. Um, this one really is just an, an updated version of one of my daily drivers, really. Um, just fancy the new one. Oh, where's the adapter in? Has it not got the adapter? No. Do you find the adapter on the Oh, I'll have to phone them up then, won't we? It's all right. It's all right to just move in the carpet, sir. So, what have we got here? Are you going to put that one on? Oh, where that goes? Well, they've got the manual. It doesn't it? So That's here we go, in here. It's the manual. It's the manual. Yeah, I'll get the manual out. There's the manual. This one, for some reason, was sold and gone back to Dyson. It was, it was not quite up to the standard. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what you get. Normally it comes in a plastic see-through uh, outer. So there's the manual of it. No, I want to look on the front. I want to see where this goes. Go on then. Does it show no? Clips on there. No, I want to see where it actually goes on the keyna. Is it like a looks like a photocopy, does it? Yes. Maybe the manual has changed. No, it's proper. I the thing with Dyson now is that not actually you cannot really buy many manuals from them. Because we've actually been collecting some of the manuals from the old cleaners. I don't know where and, to um, they're getting I don't quite hard. know where the bit went. It just clips on there. I don't know where it clips on. Just clip it on. Now have a look on the sides. Right, it just clips on there, look. Where? There. Here? I don't know where the clip is. Here? Yeah, anywhere. No, so on the covered one, it's right. The one on the covered is right here. Go on then. Keep it on. It's hard. Mm. So what the to clip on. That's it, you know. This don't, don't not make a real dieter one. It is. Keep it on. Well, first put the tools in. Uh, no. I'll have a bit of a patty on, because he's just going to the school. Get it out gently then. No. Out. All right. That's the hardest one. Well, gentle with it because this is my daily driver. It's mine. It's mine. So as you can see, look, the actual head is absolutely. This looks all brand new to me. It's mine. This looks new. That is brand new. Look, you can see there. Please, mine, Dyson. I do what I do with it. It's mine. You're not. You're keeping the old one. You are the old one. I say. Right, you got it? Yeah, but no one. Let's have a look at the actual main unit then. Let's see if it's. Then, let's take this on it. Alright. Just got that label. It's supposed yeah, to have a Dyson. It's supposed to say. It's supposed to have a picture of a Dyson on it. And it's just got that on it. Alright. It's just got that on it. So there it says, it says this machine has been inspected for quality and electrical safety by the engineer. So they've, they've done a test on it. As you can see, it looks brand new. Hey. Just cut this off. I'll cut that off if you like. Right, just turn upside down. Let's have the, the, the rating plate. There, the rating plate's there. Oh, good boy. So there we have. <laughs> it's a 1300 watt lot. I think the new ones is 1200. 
Oh, this shit. may have been the earlier one, I'm not too sure. Show them fish! See, a lot of them, they fail, don't I mean, I know... I can't remember who had a, a V8 and it failed. The, the, the bin looks like it's been... I think they've tested it. There. I think they've given it a test. Because you can just about see... Oh no, is it external? Yeah. The bin is absolutely brand new. Look. And this, and this is how many... Right. And this is how many... No. Another way to tell it's been used is to... What have you done? It does come off. It's time to get it off. Oh. Yeah, well that, that trap should open. Let's have a look in here then. We don't want to take it off anyway, no, do we? You see where does that comes up? Right, can That's I have a look down there? Yes. It's keen. Right, we'll put a light on here. I... Yeah, it is, look, it's, it is brand new, look. So... And look. Look, it even... There, yeah, that's where that comes out. It's keen. It whistles. So, yeah, we're very pleased so far with it. Like I say, there's a little bit of dust in there. I'm not worried about that. It's going to get dusty anyway. It's just too dense. Um... Tell them how much I'll pay for this one. Well, I don't know. This one retails at um, 400 and. No, I'll, I'll just show them this. 69. I'll just show them this. Go on then. There we have. <laughs> yeah, I currently, my Got current. My tips. My current daily driver is the DC54 um, ERP, which is the kinetic. Vacuum, and I've just upgraded this one. I, I want, I want, the, I want this one. And Carl now is gonna be. We will we'll be doing a video of it because now Carl has now inherited my old one, like he always does with, like he does with the Harry. I, I, I make this one. Yeah, we can use that as well. This is, this is the bestest one. But we haven't got one of these at all, have we? That's and then obviously, when I buy another one, or when they upgrade the next one. I'll, and I'll get something else. Oh, I'll, I'll I'll the battery powered one. I want the battery powered next thing coming out. Yeah, see, we, we, we've got a feeling that Dyson will be bringing out a battery powered full size machine. The way that de battery technology is going on, I really think it could be Look, on the price. It's, it's just a lot of paper. Yeah, but the manual's getting cheaper, mate, isn't it? If you imagine the original DC08 manual and then you compare it to the ones you get now, they're just, they're just, they are actually cheaper. So yeah, so uh, how much time is I'll pay for this one? I'll pay for this one retails Set. at oh, eight. Don't. I'm trying, I'm trying to get this one this retails set. at £469. I bought a refurbished one from Dyson with a two year guarantee instead of five years. And I only paid £184, so that's almost just under 300 well just under £300 saving on one of these. And um I've, I've seen used ones go, go for more than this. And the good thing about buying a brand new one like this is I know for a fact there's no plastic dust in here because these have not got no filters in them. No, they've only got one in the ball. They've only got one. The actual filter is actually inside no, the ball. No, so so them the vents. Here we go. Got Can you show them in there? There's actually a filter that wraps around the motor. And, and when people suck at plastic dust, it goes through the cyclone into the motor and then they, they end up, um, the motor's going on them. Um, and So yeah, so this is my new daily driver and as you can see I've got hard floors. Yeah, that. Yeah, it's got a fairly long lead on it. Just going to put some in. Very pleased with it. It'll be interesting to see how it all goes. So he's testing it all out, all out make sure everything's working. Plug it in. So apart from the box, but we all know that I've got a box, or if we've got the box in the other one. And let's plug it in. Go on then. We loves this one, don't we? Ah, now we'll turn turn it off without the um head on. Yeah, just to see if it makes that um that kinetic noise. What's that noise? It doesn't no, it doesn't make that doesn't make it does make that noise a little bit. Boy, that's it. Yeah. It's that noise. That one I think is louder than my other one. 
And it's got the it's got the same I, motor in I it. I say it's I say it's louder. Yeah, it's I a little bit louder, more. but we haven't got animals, have we? Now this thing's thing's very noisy. Here we go. Well, these are our ideals. Look at that, look. These are pieces of a lot of pedal here. I've got a pedal here. It's just going to be left over. See, it's pulling out the right. Oh, it's going to That's the problem with this one, isn't it? Yeah, that one. How about we try the other head now? See, this is the head I prefer using. This one's good on the rugs and that, but we've actually got some, some rice ground into the carpet. So we're now going to test this head out here. And what we're going to do, we're actually going to do a shoot a versus video. We'll get both of them out and we'll do a the versus. Old one in the one. Yeah, and we'll see which one is better. Go, see which one. It's pretty hard, Joe. Yeah. Is it on the right? Is it on the. See, it's on top of them, isn't it? Look at that, look. Yeah. So that's pretty impressive for Cole's vacuuming. Show me how you empty it. Uh, look, it's got it's got some dust in there. It will be, yeah. See, it's not this button. It's the other ones. It's this button. See, the problem with the other one was, if it got used to get jammed around the shroud, and the reason why I go for a cleaner like this. It's because, obviously, you know, we get a lot of vacuums coming through the household and I've always got filters and stuff like that on the washing line and things like that. And, and really, at the end of the day, I just want a vacuum where I can just empty it and not have to worry about it too much. I do give them a, 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 like an annual clean up once a year. The other one is, I've actually cleaned the other one up to almost new condition now, so it's... It will look as good as this one. Oh, it's white. The slight ones are white. See them? Yeah, they're the white tips, yeah. Because on the advert, they're red, aren't they? On the box, they're red. But that's just a, that's just a demonstration. So, so far, we're very, very pleased with it. £184 for a top-of-the-range Dyson Kinetic. I'm just, just going to put the power head on back on. Um, does come with all the tools. Cole reckons there should be an adapter with it. I don't yes. think there is. No, in, in my base that one. I've oh, did it? Adapter. Well, I'm sure I can get. I'm sure I'll phone them up and ask them about no, the adapter. An adapter just sits on it. It can sit any head, any yeah, size head. Yeah, because unfortunately the tools I've got are the older tools, aren't they? I've got a lot of tools. Yes, so, in you can in that coat you can buy Dyson bed tools for this. Yeah. In in your little dust bus you can buy this one that carries. Yeah, they've got a different fitting on them, haven't they? It's a very, very difficult rug to actually keep clean, this one. It's almost like vacuum in the grass, this one, isn't it? So it has picked it back up. Um, I normally use an upright on, on this rug once or twice a week to deep down it, but for, for general hard floor cleaning underneath all the furniture and the stairs, I like using this one. So what do you say now? Bye to And please subscribe to Vacuum Man 8. Next time we will be doing the video of the DC54 Kinetic. Kyle's um, latest one now which I've donated to him. Because I've now I've got this one. But it generally it's just a newer version of my daily driver. And it was so cheap I thought well. I'm going to have to have one. Because I don't think I'm ever going to see one for £184. Considering, you know, 
I think the cheapest I've seen them go down to new was 299 in January. And I just thought, well, I don't think these ones here do. I think the uprights are more popular. Aren't they in general? So bye yeah. for now.